A record surge in COVID-19 cases in Mumbai has turned this parking lot into a 400-bed makeshift hospital. India's richest state, Maharashtra, which includes Mumbai, reported more than 57,000 new infections Sunday. With cases rising, the state government has imposed night curfew and complete lockdown on weekends through the end of the month. We know that there are a large crowding which occurs in certain cities in Maharashtra, for example, Mumbai. Uh, Mumbai being the industrial capital and a lot of uh, movement of people happens in that uh, uh, state, not only from India but from outside also. And with crowding uh, and total lack of COVID-appropriate behavior, this actually is a classical uh, case for the infection to spread. The health ministry says the situation across India is worrying. The situation is becoming from bad to worse and there's serious cause for concern. In some states in particular, uh, there is a huge cause for worry. India reported over 100,000 new cases Monday, surpassing its all-time daily high of almost 98,000 new infections in mid-September last year. The first wave happened under a significantly stringent lockdown. Right now, much of the economy is open, people are moving around, transportation is open. So it's only natural that we will see a much uh, sharper and steeper rise in cases. While the government has repeatedly urged citizens to wear masks and social distance, politicians have been busy addressing thousands of supporters in poll-bound states. That's not the only cause for concern. One of the world's biggest festivals, Komela, is taking place in India's northern state of Uttarakhand. Tens of millions of devotees are expected to attend the event in the month of April. Any event where you have a large number of cases, uh, a number of people coming together, and uh, when uh, in such an event there is no COVID appropriate behavior, people are not wearing masks, can become super spreading events. 11 states and union territories have been categorized as states of grave concern by the Indian government. With the daily surge in COVID-19 cases, expect more partial lockdowns in the coming days. Vidika Sood, CNN, New Delhi. Well, India is reporting its biggest daily surge in coronavirus cases since the pandemic began, crossing the 100,000 mark for the first time. The majority emerge in the state of Maharashtra. That's home to India's financial capital, Mumbai. An evening curfew is being tightened there and the lockdown will be enforced over the weekends. Seven other states are also reporting a steep rise. Hundreds of infections with virus variants from the UK, South Africa and Brazil are being reported. Well, the rise in infections has not stopped politicians, however, from gathering large maskless crowds in election rallies like those. The Prime Minister, Narendra Modi, has held multiple rallies ahead of upcoming regional elections. Health experts are placing their hopes on the vaccination drive. But the rollout has been slow. Only 76 million Indians have received at least one shot in a population of 1.4 billion. Elizabeth Puranam has more from New Delhi. Day on day for the past two months, they've gone from an average of around 10,000 cases in early February to more than 100,000 cases on Sunday for the first time uh, in the past year. Again, Maharashtra recorded its highest number of 57,000 cases on Sunday. And uh, Maharashtra, along with a handful of state, uh, states account for most of the cases in the country. The other states are Punjab, Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh, and uh, Karnataka. Now here in Delhi, the cases were 4,000 on Sunday. That's the highest since last year. So Prime Minister Narendra Modi held a meeting on Sunday to review the situation and he said that the rise was due to what he called the um, sharp decline in COVID appropriate behavior like wearing masks and social distancing due to pandemic fatigue and also what he called the lack of effective implementation of containment measures. He is sending medical teams to Maharashtra to assess why the situation has remained the worst in the country there over the past year. He's also sending teams to the states of Punjab and Chhattisgarh to see why the death rate is so disproportionately high in those states. Now, Punjab has recorded, has seen the highest number of cases of the UK variant of the coronavirus, but health officials in, in 
India maintain that the variants, whether they are from the UK, Brazil, South Africa, even the double mutant variant that's been found in India, that those variants aren't responsible for the rise in cases. They say it is uh, because of people letting their guard down after the numbers uh, fell as much as they did earlier this year. Let's speak to Dr. Ishwar Gilada, who's an infectious diseases expert and secretary general of Organized Medicine Academic Guild. He's joining us from Mumbai. Thank you so much for speaking to us. And you are saying that this second wave is stronger than the first. Why do you say that and what are you basing that on? See, I'm based in Mumbai and is a capital of Maharashtra and financial capital of India. And currently we are in the second phase of the pandemic where it is surging every day. And uh, yesterday, we have notified almost 54% uh, of the country's cases from the state of Maharashtra. Uh, and this has been a trend for last almost one and a half month uh, going on like that. So what we see today is the, not uh, just a days or two days work, uh, working. It is a couple of uh, weeks of cooking happening uh, behind the door, or the virus has been multiplying in last uh, three, four weeks, many fold. And that's what we see the result today. Why do you um, think that there's been such a dramatic surge in infections, considering that India did go into months of lockdown? You see, uh, lockdown is a, not a solution to prevent the surge, basically. Uh, uh, preventing surge is a byproduct. Why we do lockdown is to ramp up the services, medical caregivers, their, their training, uh, arrangement of beds, oxygen, ventilators. So basically, lockdown is for preparedness. And now what is being used is for psychosocial impact on people, because people don't listen otherwise. So they either listen to law or they listen to some punishment. Uh, currently, punishment is not much. So it's only some uh, few dollars of fine. Uh, but uh, lockdown helps uh, people understand that this is a very serious situation. So uh, if you say lockdown has been done longest and strictest in the world, and that would have helped. Yes, that may, that may have helped. Uh, for a gap between first surge and second surge, uh, we, which is the longest gap we have seen anywhere in the world. Okay, so what needs to be done then next? The, the government in Maharashtra is announcing an evening curfew and a lockdown, yet another lockdown will be enforced over the weekends. Uh, from what I understand, you're saying that's not enough. So what would you like to see happen? So basically, what we are looking at is a, a, a combination of three things, MTV. And MTV is not M television. It is M means masking, and that is most important. So for prevention, you have to look to the east. Look at Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam, Singapore, Hong Kong, Japan. They have been masking almost nearly 100%, where in India, is masking is only 40%, and half of them do not use the mask properly. They do not cover nose properly. So masking is most important, and that will remain at the mainstay. The second uh, is T. T is uh, test, uh, track, and treat. And that is also very important. When you diagnose cases, you have to treat them. And V is vaccination. A lot of people think that once vaccine is available, then we can prevent the second surge. The vaccine is now currently which is available. It is going to prevent the third surge, if at all. It is not going to prevent the current surge which is happening. And only if we uh, use this combo of MTV, then we can contain uh, COVID in a bigger way. Otherwise, we are going to have a major problem. Okay, thank you so much for speaking to us from Mumbai. Hi, my name is Dr. Amir Khan, and I want to talk to you about a new variant of the coronavirus that has been identified in India and is being dubbed the double mutant. This is because it contains two important mutations, the E484Q mutation and the L4 5-2-R mutation. Now it's important to understand what mutations are. When a virus gets inside a human host, its job is to divide. It gets inside the cells and instructs the cells to start making new copies of the virus at quite a high rate. As the virus replicates, errors in the DNA can occur and these are known as mutations. Most mutations are either harmless or even harmful to the virus and have no consequence to us as humans. But every now and again, a random mutation will occur which can make the virus more contagious or infective or can
and affect how our antibodies uh, affect and kill it. Now, these two mutations that are found in the Indian variant, uh, the E484Q mutation, is similar to the E484K mutation that has been identified in the South African and Brazil variant, which may make the virus more evasive to the immune response triggered by the vaccines. And that is worrying because we need to get everyone vaccinated to protect them against the coronavirus. The other mutation, the L452R mutation, research is being done on this, but there is the potential that this could make the virus more infective. However, that has not been concluded yet. It isn't unusual for viruses to mutate uh, and it's important we keep on top of them. The key thing is to get vaccinated and until then, socially distance, wear a mask, wash your hands and adhere to your government guidance.